Hello guys, welcome to a new video on the channel. In this video, we'll handle about the, the gap tool. I will take it here. The gap tool. And that we use it to set the height of the vehicle here. But first of all, I have to say Happy New Year to all to all of you and um, a prosperous 2023. So, but uh, let's crack on with the video now. Stay tuned. From the middle of the wheel to the top of the wheel arch, it is 46, 46 and a half. And on the other side, the right hand side, from the middle of the wheel to the top of the arch it is 47 Let's see 47 so it has to go it has to go up on this side a little bit and that's what we are going to do now The gap tool is in. And we have connection with the gap tool on the iPod. And I go up here and and yes so now it should be a little higher on the left side and let's go to have a look outside if that is true the wheel to the top of the wheel arch it is 47 here so it is half a centimeter up and here it still is 47 so now it should be right on both sides I'm going to try to record the menus of the gap tool here on the screen so that you can see how to get into this screen here. So first click on the gap tool, then it searches for the tool and when it found the tool you can click on false to have it scanned for all the faults. Then it reads all the faults of the 
different ECUs. Some people on the internet asked me uh, how to get in these menus and that's why I show these menus of the cap tool for those that don't have a cap tool yet. As you can see here, I get the error of the parking brake module, but the parking brake works perfect, perfect and this is an error that always comes up, but uh, I don't know the reason why, but it works perfectly. So let's clear it and after scanning again, you'll see it will pop up again. Clearing all the faults on all the ECUs again and after scanning you'll see that the left driver door mirror heater output uh, gives an error and that's an, not an intermittent error that's an error that always comes back so I will have to look into that problem. Trying to clear it by clearing all the faults again and then scanning the faults back and then you'll see the driver door error message will pop up again. Now let's get back to the menu of the calibration of the height and how to get there. From the main menu you can click on calibration and then you come here in this menu and here you click on RLM suspension. When you then click on manual calibration, you come in the menu to set the height of the different corners. So from the main menu, click on calibration, then on RLM suspension. And last but not least on manual calibration. And here you are in the menu to do your settings to your liking. And here for the first time the software of the gap tool acted uh, very strange. Um, the menu said it was in main menu, but it wasn't in main menu and I couldn't get back to main menu. So I had to uh, get out of the tool and start it up again, as you will see here. And then everything worked flawlessly again. I could get in all the menus I wanted, so that's okay. And as you can see, there are a lot more menus concerning the height and the changing of the height and the settings, but that's uh, for another video. This is again a wrap for this video guys, thank you all for watching, if you liked it hit the thumbs up, if you didn't try to do the same just uh, to help the channel um, uh, further on and um,
find us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.